Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Patmos, the island of training. Remember, John was exiled to the island of Patmos. And there he received the great revelation and he wrote the book of Revelation on Patmos and Island. And also remember that many people who are involved with the harvest work and who are involved with the 144,000 have received dreams and visions about a training and an island. Patmos is that pattern again in the Bible to this training island for the 144,000 or the 72,000 in the sealed tribulation period, where people will go for training. They will be equipped spiritually and in the case of the 144,000 also physically to, for their destiny and their duty on earth, for the Lord. As Patmos was a training area for John, and we see also in Revelation 10 that John will eat that book the book of Revelation, and will eat it, and then he has to testify again to all the nations and before kings. That is because the book of John is about the 144,000. As Luke is for the bride, and Mark is for the left behind church, the remnant church, and Matthew is for the Jews. So the book of John the Gospel of John is for the 144,000 and also for the 72,000 harvest workers before. John has something to do with Patmos as he was exiled there and he was trained at Patmos and at Patmos he saw the Lord Jesus Christ himself appearing in his vision. So John never died until he saw Jesus again as it was promised in the Bible. So John is the example for the harvest worker who will reach Mount Zion alive. Because Mount Zion is a mountain that Jesus will come down. The mountain that's not carved by human hands, but carved by Jesus Christ. Yes, Mount Zion is that mountain that will destroy the statue of Nebuchadnezzar in the dream of Daniel. And on top of that mountain, there is a throne. And the Lord God Almighty, Abba Father is sitting there because we read clearly in the sixth seal that the people are afraid because they see something coming and they see that with what is coming there at the throne and on this throne is sitting somebody and the lamp is coming. So Father and Son are coming down with Mount Zion. The clear pattern to Mount Sinai, a clear pattern to coming down when the merging takes place between heaven and earth. Now we are in Triple Grace are trying to get you prepared so that you can stand at that mountain and be ruptured into paradise or sealed as 144,000. So walk with us that path to Mount Zion. Many people will not realize that this is absolute important. If you are not part of the bride, and the bride will go very soon, and you are left behind, you better come to us and walk with us that path. Because we will bring you to Mount Zion, and we will establish the dwelling places of Zion in all the nations. And we will train the assemblies of Zion. And they will go forth into their neighborhoods, and they will gather the harvest of the ages. They will bring in the wheat into the barn of the Lord. And when they have accomplished their task and the multitude closed and wide is ready, then God will send his mighty angels to collect all of us from our dwelling places of Zion throughout the whole world and drop us at the base of Mount Zion. And there we will have access into paradise at the rapture. The cherubim that is guarding the entrance to paradise will step aside and everybody who is clothed in the fine white linen, because he has cleaned his dirty garments in the blood of the lamp, will enter. And from that day forward, you will be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and our Father, Jehovah Jireh, forever, eternity. 
How perfect will it be? Now come together in love, unity and support. Build the dwelling places of Zion. Think about the island of Patmos as a training area for John, a pattern to the island where the 144,000 will be trained, or even the 72,000 that will be sent out during the seals, because the 144,000 will be sent out during the trumpet period. Yes, you heard it right. There are not only one seven-year period, but two. We have 14 years. Seven years seal tribulation and seven years trumpet tribulation. Actually, we have six years until the seals, then we have one year rest, and then we have the trumpet period, where we also have six years and one year rest, and then everything will come to conclusion. Because then our Lord and Savior will be stepped down on the Mount of Olives. And he will take revenge on all the people who have mocked us now, who are fighting against us, who spread lies about us, and who could not find a way to trust us. But God is merciful, and we might find people in paradise that we were very surprised about, but that can happen, because the ways of the Lord are not our ways. And our worldly ways are definitely not the ways of the Lord. So please come forward and step with me forward now onto the righteous path to Mount Zion. Establish a dwelling place of Zion in your neighborhood. If you do not know how, send me an email at triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I will tell you how. Gather the people together. Build an assembly of Zion in that dwelling place and then empower them through teaching, studies, preaching and send them out into the neighborhood to bring in the harvest of the ages. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today and I hope you liked it and you will come back tomorrow. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also become a member of our website triple-grace.com. Thank you for your attendance. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.